Time Doctor allows you as a company to invite your clients to access the Time Doctor application and share in some of your information. Clients may be given access to specific groups, projects, or reports as you see fit. To do this, head to the top navigation and select Invite. On the top of the Invite page, you will see there are two options for inviting, via email or CSV, which is a spreadsheet file. Select which option you would like to use. For this demo, we're going to cover the email option. If you would like to learn on how to use the CSV option, please refer to our user guides in the support section. So let's put our client's email into the address field. You can add multiple emails here. If you would like to, just add a comma between each email and they will be separated. When you are finished, look just below this to the check boxes. These allow you to select what kind of invitee you are inviting. In this case, you want to select the box that says Client. To the right, you will see a notice appear, telling us some things about how client access works. First, it states that the clients can view work that your company has done for them, but that they have view-only access and they cannot track the work. Also, clients cannot be converted to other access levels, like regular user, manager, or admin. So, with that in mind, let's continue. Below, you will need to add the client to at least one group or project in order to invite them. You also must give them access to at least one report in order to invite them. So, first let's consider a group. If you get to this step and you need to manage your groups before inviting, you can do this via the Group Settings button on the right side of the page or through the Settings drop-down menu. Select the group if you wish to add your client to a group. Then, move on to the project area. It may be that you want your client to be able to view the project or tasks that you are doing for them. If this is the case, select the project to give your client access. The final section is for reports. You will have to consider what access you want your clients to have, what information they do and don't need. It may not make sense to give your clients access to hours tracked, or your user's web or app usage, it really depends on what you want or need the client to see. Perhaps in this case, we want them to view our projects and tasks so they can better see how the work is coming along. Maybe we also want them to see screencasts so they get a visual of the work being done. Once you are done making all of your selections, simply hit the Send Invites button to send your invitations. Once your client has been added, you can find them again on your user settings page found through the top navigation. When you select your client, you will see that they have been labeled as such. And all of the projects, groups, and reports you selected for them have been assigned. If you would like to make changes to these settings, you may do so at any time. From here, we're going to switch over and show you the client's perspective. Once your client accepts the invitation, they will be taken to their account dashboard and given access to the things you selected. In this case, you made certain selections for groups, projects, and reports. But for the sake of the demo, we've included some more selections so you can better understand what access to certain reports looks like. First, here is a view of the projects and tasks from the client's web access. Clients can see a summary of the time worked on the project, divided first into project folders, then user folders, then divided by tasks. Looking back above this, you'll note that the clients can sort the page further by selecting from whichever groups you've given them access to. In addition, they can make changes to the selection by adjusting the time frame between day, week, month, or a date range. Below this is another button called Display Settings. This allows the client to customize how the table is viewed with a few different layouts. Finally, scrolling down, the client can also choose how they want to view manual and mobile time. Let's head over to the next tab called Screencasts. Here, if you elected this option, clients will be able to see screenshots from the computer of your employees. 
who are working on the task or project for the client. Display options is much like the previous page with the ability to see information based on different time intervals. There is a different option here, which is an option to view only low activity screencasts. These are times when the computer was fairly idle for a given amount of time. Viewing screencasts is like viewing a gallery. You can select an image and then use the arrows to move between them. Now let's do a brief overview of the reports. In our demo earlier, we only selected a few reports, but to show you what clients see, all reports have been activated. Activity summary is a broad overview of time tracked for your teams, with items like work time and idle time reported in both numeric and percentage forms. As per most pages, the client has a number of ways of customizing columns, time intervals, and who is shown on the chart. The hours track report is even broader, giving you just the time that was recorded without the information idle time versus work time. It is a more visual approach, showing you a breakdown of each day or week with simple charts. The productivity report takes web and app usage, defines it as either productive, unproductive, or neutral, and combines it into a bar graph with percentages for you to see and compare. The timeline is similar to hours track as it shows simple bars to indicate time work. However, it does break these up to show computer time, manual time, and mobile time, as indicated by color. In addition, this page gives you a live notification about what is presently being worked on. Just below our name here, we can see contact page is highlighted in green. This is the presently active task. If the person is not tracking anything, the icon will have a red dot, and this notice will tell you when time is last tracked. The final report is the web and app usage report. Giving your clients access to this report will allow them to see a collection of all the web use for each user. It has a small percentage summary under each user that helps give a snapshot of how productive someone is being. And that's it. These are the basics of client access.